Hello, and today you are going to learn how to evaluate functions from a table. So I want you to understand how to do this by looking at two things. One, if you're given the x value, which is the numbers on this column, then all you have to do is replace x in the function. You're just plugging something in. So let's do that first. Let's say I'm given x as negative 9. I just have to put this inside the function, the input, to get the output. Plug it in. Negative 2 times negative 9 plus 9, and you will get the output, the y value. Negative 2 times negative 9 is 18 plus 9, which is 27. Let's go through this one. Plug in x as 0 into the main function, and you will get the output negative 2 times instead of x put a 0 plus 9 you're using this main function negative 2 times 0 is just 0 plus 9 which is 9 and then the last one plug in a 10 sometimes it's easier to uh, I always tell my students to replace the x with parentheses first and then put in your input your 10 so negative 2 times 10 is negative 20 plus 9, which is negative 11. When it's backwards, when you are given the y values, for instance, you're given this 11 and 1, and you're trying to get x, then you just have to replace the output. You're replacing basically the y to solve for x. So when you are giving it the other way around, that usually involves solving for x, solving some kind of equation. So let's go through this one, 11. That number, f of x, your output, represents this whole thing. So you're going to replace that with whatever the output is with 11 for this question. So how do you write that? You're going to have 11 equals you're replacing that whole thing with what this says your output and then you're going to write the main function itself negative 2x plus 9. if you're giving it the other way around it involves you solving for x it usually does uh, so 11 minus 9 is 2 equals negative 2x divided by negative 2 to solve for x and you get x equals negative 1 going through one more so you're given f of x as one you're not plugging this in you're not plugging it in you're replacing the output this output with a one so how do you write that y equals negative 2 x plus 9 and it usually involves you solving for x solving some kind of equation to get x by itself minus 9 minus 9 now you got that as negative 8 equals negative 2x divided by negative 2. And you get x equals 4. Let's go try example number 2. So we got another function. Let's do the x first. Let's do the inputs first. Super easy. All you got to do is plug it in for x because that these numbers represent X so what do we what do you do uh, if you want to start off with the parentheses and then put your input put your X value I think that's more organized doing it that way negative 21 again for this number negative 3 you're using that main function and then you're just plugging in your X value negative 3 negative 3 minus 14 is negative 17 when you're given the output when you're given these numbers and you're trying to get X it involves you setting up some kind of equation so replace f of X the whole thing you're not plugging this in once again you can set it up by writing an equation negative 24 equals X minus 14 and then you just solve for X add 14 to both sides negative 24 plus 14 is negative 10 equals x let's do this one now 
you got your output as negative 20 equals the main function itself, x minus 14. Add 14 to both sides, and you got x by itself. Negative 6 equals x. And then doing the last one, to get this x value, set up your equation. Replace your output. Do not plug this in for x. I keep saying that because I keep seeing people, my students, get them mixed up. Uh, x minus 14, add 14 to both sides, and you got negative 2 equals x. Sometimes you get the table written horizontally, but it's no different from what you just did in the first two examples. So take out a piece of paper, write the function down, and I want you guys to fill out this table on your own. When you are done, unpause the video and you will get the answer. Here are the answers for the table. I'm not gonna go through every single step, but you can pause the video to see how we got those values. When you are given the x, all you have to do is plug that in into the main function. When you are given these values as negative 7 and negative 52, it usually involves you replacing that f of x with the output, and then it involves you setting up an equation and solving for x to get 0 and 9. Hope that helped. Hope that made sense. Throw me a like and subscribe if that helped you. If not, let me know how I can improve my videos. And until then, I will see you on the next episode. Peace.